So as you get better at push-ups, uh, the title of this video is getting, is, is, um, well, what was the title? Man, I completely forgot. Oh, <laughs> Shoulder blade push-ups, yeah. So as you get better and better at push-ups, you'll want to do two things. Number one, increase the repetitions. Number two, increase the difficulty. Now, I do 500 a day, but sometimes there's a point, there, there comes a point at which that 500, it doesn't become monotonous, it doesn't become boring, it can never be that, but sometimes you need a change. It even, it doesn't get easier, but it, it your body needs a change sometimes. You'll wear out from all the high repetitions all the time. That's not saying don't do them, do them. Uh, but another thing you should do, you can do, is make your push-ups a hell of a lot tougher. You can make them slower, you can make them tougher, you can do advanced variants, or you could take the same movement and you could turn it into an entirely different exercise. And now I've shown you in the past how you can put your hands this way, that way, hand positioning, foot positioning. But today's video is not going to be about that. It's going to be about something which most people ignore when doing push-ups. Two things, actually. One, most people, you'll see them do push-ups this way. Notice where my hands are. Um, notice where my hands are right now, here. They're sort of, they're sort of here, okay? So notice where my hands are. Most people will do them this way, okay? Or even worse, they'll look down. Now that's fine when you first begin. Okay, all the way up, all the way down. Okay, that's fine when you first begin. Uh, but what I want to show you is once this becomes easy, you can see I'm not even breathing deeply with these. Once it becomes easy, you want to do two things to increase the intensity of your workout. That being, move your arms further back, closer to your lats and directly underneath your chest. Most people do it, their shoulders are, their hands are either at under their shoulders or if not their upper chest, which is fine to start with. But you'll want to get in this position here. See, normally I'd be in this position. Now walk a couple of steps forward, see? See the difference? That way. Keep the back straight. Now from there, you go again. <laughs> okay. These, the further down to your hips your hands are, the harder the movement gets. Okay. Um, now, the other thing I really want to cover in this is shoulder blades, okay? Shoulder blades, I've often said in the past, this portion, you see? This, this, here, this. I don't have nobody to take the video, but you get the picture. I've often said in the past when doing push-ups, imagine you're pinching a penny between your shoulder blades as you go down. Um, when you get to advanced level, your shoulder blades should be working a lot more. You should literally sometimes imagine yourself pushing up with your shoulder blades, okay? I don't know if you can see this here, but you could probably get a bit of a, a bit of an idea. A bit of an idea. I don't, again, I don't have nobody to film me, so I can't really show you what I'd like to properly, but yeah, this, this should work. So, so see, regular, advanced, okay, back straight. Now, see, I'm contracting, see, I'm contracting the upper back, the shoulder blades, then I push back up.
See, that way. You contract the upper back a lot more, okay? From this angle, I'm gonna show you. And you should do these on all push-ups, actually, the shoulder blades, but especially as you get more and more advanced. So see, it's almost like you're, like you're falling over. It makes it harder to Okay, that way. And you'll see that that one, that one uh, movement, basically, this here, the middle of your back, middle of your upper back here, that makes things a hell of a lot tougher and it works you differently. And some of you will feel your upper back be sore as heck after you do these. And again, you can do them for all kinds of push-ups. Let's do it for the arm, well, arm extended push-up. You don't do it because the arm's already out here, but there you focus on the lats. Okay, you go slow, inhale, keep the back straight. See, I'm gonna show you from this angle. Keep the back straight, see? A lot of people slouch. No, keep the back straight. Arms out as far as you can go. Focus on your lats this time. Inhale down. See? Legs straight, legs straight. That way. See? Push up this way. That way. So the tip really is uh, to make it tougher, focus on the back a lot more. For some of these push ups, you'll want to focus on your upper back, some of them, your, your lats depending upon the movement. But for the regular push-up, you know, you can make it a lot tougher by doing it slowly, by focusing on the upper back, um, basically pinching a penny between your shoulder blades. So I hope that makes sense. I think it does. We'll see what I mean when I... We'll do... We'll do two more, I guess. So you can sort of see me do them. See, yeah, you can sort of see me do them here. See, I'm here. Now my regular push-up would be this way, okay? Or that way, okay? Um, these, I move ahead. Now I'm really getting into the back. See? See? I'm pushing up with the back. So you'll feel it all across here, here, and uh, that way. I'm going to see if I can get somebody to take a better video, but that should uh, suffice. That should tell you what I mean. Okay? So that's the tip for now. 103 push-ups, then I'll be back shortly, my friends.